This is on finishing your floor with Rubio Monocoat. Rubio Monocoat. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to read from the uh, uh, document to put it into record, which is their description about how to handle their material. It's used for wood flooring. And um, if I began, uh, the, first of all, the products and equipment you will need is a vacuum cleaner, Monocoat oil, squeeze bottle, and if you're coating an exotic or oily wood, use a monocoat raw wood cleaner. You need a 175 RPM buffer, 3M red pads and 3M white pads, and cotton rags. Point number one. By the way, I bought this from a group called Pete's Hardware Floors Incorporated, and they're in St. Paul, Minneapolis. The telephone number is 651-698-5888. The material is expensive. It's $142 for, per liter. You wonder what you're paying for. And then the accelerator is um, 20 bucks. So the total for two of these was $342. So it's worth doing it right. Now one, his instructions are, one, sand it right, exclamation point. Always begin with a wood floor that has been sanded to bare wood. All previous finishes must be completely removed. The texture of the sanded floor should be uniform and show no evidence of scratches from either the drum sander or the edger. After sanding, we recommend a final pass with a buffer and a 100 grit screen to give the wood an even porosity. Two, vacuum the floor thoroughly with a canister vacuum with a soft bristle wand. Remove any remaining dust with a dry microfiber cloth. If you're working with an exotic, oily, or resinous wood, clean the floor with monocoat 